Oh yeah, man. I still get uh, I still got people out in the um, in the bay, dude. I don't know what people be talking about. I still got homies out there, and they um, they go to Laney. Uh, some of them off 20th and 10th Street over there in 11. You know, uh, still tons of dudes. They still there. You know what I'm saying? They still making beats, going to the hip hop spots. I just don't be in the bay like that. Like I was on San Diego side, so I'm over that way. People used to take the little crop duster plane and fly over to San Fran and then go to Oakland and anywhere. You know, but they stayed in Clinton area. All the people I knew, they stayed over there. So. Anyway, let me move on with the story because it probably cut right in. Some people were asking me, like, why you don't, man, you need to come to the Bay, man. You got to come out to the Bay. And I'm like, I still got people out there. I might pop up one day. But if you do, you'll see me on 11th or 10th. But I think they on, like, 10th and 20th or something like that. But it's still, anybody in the Clinton area will see me if I do go out there. But I had them take me around to, you know, I just was not out there that much. But I do know Safir and Tupac situation. That Safir is one of the biggest liars you ever want to meet. He will. The dude will lie. He will take once. He's one of those people that tells half-truths. We'll do it that way. He's really good at telling a half-truth. That you almost believe it. And you'll know because you were there. And be like, wait a minute. Why did you cut that out? You just literally cut that right out. Now, a lot of people probably weren't aware of his situation with Tupac. Let me sit down for this. I'm tired of moving around. But, uh, Sophia's issue with Pac happened because Pac had an issue with Sophia. And this was about the minister society situation. Sophia used to live with Pac. Because Sophia didn't even have a crib no more. He was just living at people's cribs at that time. And Pac had, um, he, he was uh, just got his crib, I think. He was with Shock at the time. And he had uh, just had his crib up there. He just put his first album out. And he had, had him a little spot up in Oakland. And that's when Sophia was living with him and stuff. And he'll take trip back to Marin City and back and forth. But he had his little crib, but he'll be gone most of the time. So Sophia be up in there, you know, doing what he's doing. He would just need somebody to be in there so nobody would rob his shit. So Sophia would be with him. They get in fights, go to parties and stuff. So that was his boy. So when he had a chance for the movie, uh, the Hugh brothers said they was doing Minister Society. It was coming up, the documentary, and they wanted Tupac to be in it. And when Tupac read the role, uh, and he was like, oh, man, like, I'm with this. So all of a sudden, he worked that out where Saphir could be in the movie. Now, Sophia will tell you this lie that Tupac went to go film Brenda Had a Baby. And and the, the they were waiting on him to come back from shooting that video. And they just eventually asked him, could he act, and sent him a script. BS. Completely BS. First off, Brenda Had a Baby was already completed and done and already on the first album. Pac was working on his second album. When this was going on. Two. You only was brought up on. They, they weren't looking for you. They asked you because you act. And they sent you a script. Because Tupac said. Man find a role for my boy. We coming out there. Then when he get into the situation. With the Hugh brothers. And get into a fight with them. And then they fired him off the set. And left. And walked. You didn't walk. The man who got you on the set, once he had a discrepancy with what was going on and they got into a fight, you wasn't even with him. You stayed. You did the movie. 
bro, man, I'm homeless. I need this. This is my break. It was like, man, I get you a break. You you ain't show no loyalty. That's why he ain't deal with you no more. That's why you won't live in with Pac no more. He kicked you out. Now, that's all. Now, that's the truth. I don't know what else anybody talking about. Oh, I had a fight. Pac didn't help me. He ran. Hey, that's between y'all. I don't know nothing about that. All I know is the facts. Those were the facts. Once Pac got you that role, and Pac got fired for the fight or whatever, they chose not to do anything, you didn't help. You didn't do anything. You stayed, did the movie, and thought it would be that it was going to be cool with Pac. After he got you that knowing how Pac is, you thought that would be okay. Some people hey, they 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 view a dollar over loyalty and that's what happened. Shout out to everybody in the bay. I'm out.